Good, mo good morning. Yeah, so our topic today we are supposed to discuss what you call uh, there is what you call the static HTML and there is what you call the dynamic word HTML. So and then we are going to start the first topic. There is what you call the static HTML. So these are some of the objectives you're supposed to know in this topic. For example, you're supposed to explain what is a static website. Still, you're supposed to explain what are the doc types. Still, you can explain what are the head elements. For example, in the HTML, we have uh, that head section. Is it true? But we have the you can have the script, you can have the static and you can have the the title. Still, you're supposed to know on how you come up with the word with the HTML form. And I think there's only covered in web one together. And still, when we are covering the PHP, the advanced PHP, for example, the form, the PHP forms, we are able to come up with a word with that with a form. Because there's no way you could have submitted the, the information into the database unless you had a what a form, a form understood. But understood. Yeah, so these are yes. some, some of the objectives. I hope that it's all is clear. Is it clear? I hope yes. it's clear. So now, let me ask you, according to you, because I believe now this topic is just a repetition of what you covered in Web 1, but still you have said it in Web 2. Let me ask you, what is a static website, according to you? What is, what is a static website? You know what is a, you know what is a static website? Because now what happens now, for example, when you're, coming up, when you're coming up with a website, you're going to be having either static or dynamic. Like, let me ask you, you're coming up with a, a website, is it true? Is it true like in your system? Yes. Yeah. Is it static or dynamic? Let me ask you. Is it static or dynamic? Okay, this is a trail. Is it a, is a static website um, the website where you access it online or in the offline? You can access it offline. Let me ask you. Does your website have a database? Yes. yes. So once coming on a database, it is a dynamic website together. Because you now what happens now mm -hmm. with a dynamic website, the information changes in the web page together. For example, there's a way the admin can log in and you update the information, so the information can change together. That is a dyna dynamic. Mm -hmm. But now whenever you talk about a static mm -hmm. website, it is a website whereby mm -hmm. the information or the content do not change together. The information do not work, do not change. And most of the times, a static website do not have a database. Understood? For example, you can come up with a website, you have written the information in the code together. All the information they are in there in the code together, then that information can be displayed in what in the web browser, web browser. Every time that information can remain static for 10 years, that content does not have to change. That is what we call what a static web website. Understood? Yes. Yeah. And sometimes we can call it a flat page. You can do what? We can call it what a flat, a flat page. A what? A Sorry. flat page. Flat. I'll, I'll also. Yeah, the notes one and it's together a flat page. Mm -hmm. Let me just read yeah. it for you. Sometimes let me just put it here. I hope you're able to say together. You can call it what a flat page together because that information. Do not share together. Or there, it is a you, so you can see it's a web page that is delivered to the user exactly at result. It is stored together. Still, for the static website mm -hmm. or web page, it mixes of what you call the HTML what doc, documents that are stored. The HTML documents. Now you're supposed to know what are the benefits now of having what this is static website over what dynamic web website. So one of the advantages of having a static website is is quick to develop. Quick to do what to develop develop. For example. You don't require any PHP, is it true? Because that's so we have the benefits mm -hmm. now. You can have the benefits. We have said the first one it is easy to do what? Easy to develop. Because now we have said you don't, develop. Yeah, you don't require any database connection here, you don't require any what any PHP fun functions. You just require the HTML. You require what HTML. JavaScript and CSS are together because you know very, very well for the cascading style sheet, it can, it can be used to do what? To add colors the what into the system. Is it true? So, for example, whenever you are using JavaScript, me, for example, you are using something like a character. Is it true? So you have to use what? JavaScript. Mm -hmm. Then, normally, you have to use what? The HTML. Understood? Then, another mm -hmm. advantage it is a uh, less expensive way uh, to, to develop. Less expensive. Why we think it's less expensive? Mm -hmm. We do not have to incur the cost of what of procuring what a database together. 
I think that, for example, the same same website, you can be hosting it online. Is it true? Because once you come up with a system or website, there is a way you can host it online. You must be having a domain. I think that, and, and when you're hosting it, you can procure, you can buy the domain having what? The data with the database. I understood. Still, are you able to hear me? I don't. I'm saying, when you're hosting that website, I'm clear. Am I clear? Am I clear? Am I clear? Okay, proceed. So I was saying this. I was saying this. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, once you come up with a website, there is a way you can host it online. You have to buy a domain. For example, you can have that uh, www.ctech.ac.ke. That is what you call a domain, a domain. So what happens when you are buying a domain? Once you buy the domain, you can buy the hosting there. What? That part for the database. Understood? And still, you can buy the domain without what? Having what? The database. So once you have a static website, you do not have to incur the, the entire cost of what? Of buying the domain the with the database. This is what? Let's expect. Expensive. Understood? Yes. Still, we can say it is and have another advantage. It is cheap to host. Like for example, we have one of the best hosting companies. There is a company called the True Host. We have what the True, the True Host. We are buying. Once you come up with the website, you can just procure the domain from them. Give you an example. You can have uh, the True Host company. We have that. Then still, another benefit of having a, a static website, it can be viewed directly by a web browser. It can be viewed directly by a web browser. Yeah, so in this, in, in, in this scenario, we do, we do not require a web server together because we know very, very well there is a way that the, that the same, same information in the website can be stored in the, whole, in the web server. And we must, we must be having a web browser that uses what you call the HTTP request to retrieve the information from the web browser from the web server to the, whole, to the web browser. But in our case here, the information is just open with the web browser and you just do what? With the informa information. Because we see it, this information do not what? Do not change but together. It can remain static for many, for many years. And still, we can say we do not require any hosting here. We do not. We do not require what any ho in hosting. So these are some of the benefits of having what of having a static web website. Understood? Any question? No question. Yeah. Then you can have uh, the disadvantages. I want now you just try to enumerate one disadvantage. I can enumerate one disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, it can be less expensive, but also it can have the issue of when someone can require some things, it yeah. lacks some some added advantages because it is less, less expensive than the one which is expensive. It is expensive in terms of expertise. That together is what expensive in terms of, of expertise. Because what happens now, it requires a web development expertise or an expert to what to update the information. The information is it true? Because you have you have to go to the court and you just manipulate the information information and you must be an expert. Because now in the case you interfere with the court, in the case you interfere really long with the court, you can it can have a great effect with the what with the website. Understood? So we can say it requires web development expert to update the site. Understood? Yeah, what else? Yes. So you can say, let, let me ask you, having a static website, having a static website, is it the Frederick? Is not right together because now the site is not useful because the user because the content remains the same for many years right together because what happens with the, with the dynamic website the information is updated regularly like, like, right together so it becomes even more interesting and you to the whole to the you the user so we can say the site is not useful right together because for example yeah. maybe, maybe we were having an e-commerce site right together we were, we were having an e-commerce site that was created 10 years ago the product that were the product that were present on that site ten years ago still are there. 
and maybe be having what new products so they get to be having new products so you may realize that uh, most of the customers won't be they wouldn't like that page i they would do like that web website because the information is not updated that you guys are regularly together so we can say yes. the site is not useful the site is not useful for the user yeah since the content Yeah, that is still another disadvantage of having um, a static what a static web website. And still, you can say that uh, maintaining, for example, in, remember you must be having an expert together. You must be having an administrator or a program who is supposed to do what to maintain what that that static web website. So maintaining that numbers of static pages as files can be impractical together because we must be having automated tools together. Because now, because in a static website, yes. it is the administrator or is the programmer who is supposed to do what to maintain the right number of files. But in the case we compare the same mm -hmm. same information with that information in a dynamic website, in a dynamic website we have what we call automated tools. These automated tools they make the work easier for the administrator or they make the work easier for the web developer together. So we can see yes. that maintaining maintaining large numbers of static. Impractical without having automated tools. Yeah, because these are the questions you expect in exams and are together. So you have to be very yes. ready. So these are the major disadvantages of having a static what a static web website. And we are doing that with our what with the first object objective. And because you're supposed to know what is a static website, still you must be knowing how it works. And together, and you have said for this one, it is the work of the web developer to always update the, the information information because they have to get access to the coding. And together, and still you mm -hmm. have known the advantages. And together, and the disadvantages of having what of having a static web website. And together, and I've yes. just given you for this one. I've just given you a company here that can be used for what for hosting. And together, and then you can discuss yes. now our second objective here. You must be knowing what are HTML doc types are together. So we can discuss mm -hmm. now the exotic call. The HTML what doc doc types. I think you've ever seen, for example, when you're opening a certain uh, page. Have you ever seen something like uh, the doc type HTML fabric uh, W3? Have you ever seen that information on the HTML at the top? For example, you can open a, yes, you yeah. can download a, a certain page, a certain web, web page in, a, in the internet, and you already see that information, doc type HTML, public W3C, yeah, together. Even we have a version 4.0, mm -hmm. yeah, together. These are called what the doc, the doc type, yeah, together. And actually, mm -hmm. a doc type it is a declaration, yeah, together, or it is the rules that govern the markup language. Remember, HTML, mm -hmm. what you are saying, that the doc type declaration, it is it refers to the rules that Govern right, together, or that manage what the markup language right, together. And now these rules they enable the web browser to deliver the information very well. Very well. Remember, the information is kept now what in a remote web server right, together. The information is kept now what in a remote web web server, and it's the work of the web browser now to retrieve that information from the web server into the what into the web browser. So in case you realize that uh, in case a website is able to use what you call the HTML doc type. The information or the browsers they are able to render or the browsers they are able to deliver the information correct correctly understood please repeat the definition because you're kind of breaking or oh, you're writing yes <laughs> <coughs> ah, don't worry i'll give the notes don't worry i'll, I'll give you together okay yeah don't, you don't have to write for now together just the reason i'll give you the, i'll give you the notes together i've summarized everything for you i'll, I'll give you together Okay. I'll give you immediately after the class I'll post them together. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we are saying for the doctor now, these are the rules that govern that together or that manage what the markup language. Because you have said HTML is a what a markup language. Because we know what, it, what does HTML mean. 
the hypertext markup la language. So in the case of web browser, in, what we are saying, remember the information in the website is kept now in a web server. And we use the web browser to retrieve the information by using what we call the HTTP request to retrieve that information from the web server into the world, into the web browser. In the case now you have developed your website or you have developed your system having the HTML doc type, the information on the web browser can read or can retrieve the information correctly. Understood? So it is able to enhance that retrieval of, of the word of the information of the information. Have you understood? Yes. Yeah. Then still, you're supposed to know the types of uh, we have the types. You're supposed to know the types of what doc types. You're supposed to know the types of uh, the doc the doc type. And there is what you call the first one. You have the HTML. And this is the first word. This is the first doc. Together. And once you see this one, it is able to contain all the HTML elements and attributes together for this one. It contains what? Or it's supposed to be strict here, not select. Select it is in the PHP. We are saying, in case you see this one, the HTML, the word 4.01, it means what? The version. Understood? It means the var, the version. So for this one, it is able to contain all the HTML elements and attributes together. But now for this one, it cannot include the presentation or the depreciated elements. For example, which are the HTML elements? We can be having what? Which, which are the elements in HTML? Which elements do you know? We can have elements for the front side together. We can have elements for the what? For the for the CSS together. Still, we can have elements mm -hmm. for the for the center. Understood? So once we are having, or yeah. in case your website is having the HTML 4.01 strings now, it is able to contain all the HTML elements and attributes. But now it has a limitation. It cannot contain the depreciated elements. Remember, these depreciated elements, the, for example, like the front, the center, they cannot be loaded in a, in a website. Once they are what? Depreciate, depreciated. You have to upgrade them. Understood? Yeah, then there is what you call the HTML. Still version 4.01. We have this one now. I hope now you're able to see the difference. Now, for this one, we are having strict, and for this one, now we are having what transit transition all together. Now, the major difference between these two now, remember, you said for this one, it is able to contain all the HTML elements and the attributes, but for this one, it never included what you call the depreciated app elements. But now, once we talk about the transition now, the HTML 4.01 transition doc type is able to contain still all the elements and the attributes, but now still. This one, it is able to include the depreciated elements. Understood? But have you seen the difference now? Pardon? I'm saying for this one, we say for this one, it, is, it contains all the HTML elements and what? The attributes. But it never included the presentation or it never included the depreciated elements. Is it true? This is the first one. Yes. But now, for this one transition now, still it contains all the HTML elements and attributes, but still it can include the depreciated elements. Understood now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, then you can have the third one. Now, still an upgrade, we can have this one, the, the next upgrade that is what you call the HTML, still version 4.01 frame set. We can have that uh, the version 4.01 word frames set together. And for this one now, for this one, very, very simple from the definition. Let me ask you from the definition, what is it? Look at it from the definition, and you know it's a frame set. Because in, uh, when you're using the HTML forms, you must be you must use what sometimes you can use a frame set. Let me ask you, what is a frame set? Or what is the what is which is this the doc type? According to you. Okay. Okay, this contains all the different um, aspects about frames. Yeah, that you, that is correct. Together, so once you are having this doc type now, it is able to support all the frames in our in that in that page. Understood? Yeah, I think that is correct. 
and we are doing what we call the dog type. So you must be knowing very, very well. We have said this, the dog type now, these are the rules that govern what the markup language are together, and we have said they are used by the, with the web browser to read the information what correct correctly. So you have to be remembering the three major types of what dog types in what in HTML. We have a strict transition, and we have what the frame, the frame set. That was our second what objective. Any question at that point? Any question? Mm. Okay. Have, you, have you understood? Yes, yes. Then we can discuss this one. The HTML head elements. This one you, have, you, have, you covered in your web one. The HTML has discussed this objective here. Let me just write that. Yeah, I want to discuss now the HTML head elements. Because now, for example, once you open the HTML tag, we have the head. Is it true? You open the, the extension for it, then you have the head right together. Actually, yes. whenever we talk about the head element now, this is just a container that is going to contain all the head elements inside. For example, we can let me just say we can have this. Now, this is the head element. Is it true? So you have it, this is the head element. Mm -hmm. And you always close it. We have uh, you always close it in this perspective. Uh, Mm -hmm. Ah, is it true? So what yes. is happening now? We're supposed to discuss. You're supposed to know all the elements that are in between here. The head element, for example, we can have the title. Is it true? We can have mm -hmm. the link. We can have the style. We can have what the script. Understood? That is what you call the mm -hmm. head element. And you have said it's just a container that is going to contain all the elements that are included in that what in that head and together. Mm -hmm. And we have said we can, we can include what maybe for example. Maybe let me just have them here. We have said we can have uh, just copy this. We can have style. Is it true? We can mm -hmm. have what we can have style. For example, in case you're incorporating right, together the CSS in your web page, you can have style. Is it true? You have to use what style. Then style. still, and, you have, and then remember you have to close it. You have to do what? You have to close, you have to close it. And you can mm -hmm. close it here. Every time you have to do what you have to close it, you just copy this information. Then still we can have script. Is it true? We can have script. In the case you have, in the case you're in, in case you're incorporating JavaScript files, you can have what script. Script. So you can have base. You can have meta. For example, so you can have meta. And you know what is meta? Meta means what? Description of what? Of information? Information is the truth. Mm -hmm. yes. You can have meta. These are some of the what? Of the head elements. Now, these are what? The head e elements. Yeah. And still, there is one which is common. I, I, I was almost forgetting that we, have, we must have the title. We have always the title. Because I believe, for yes. example, when you're coming up with your system, you have used it somewhere. And you, and you know the impact of the title. It's supposed to appear on the topmost part of the browser. Is it true? You can have what? The, the, the title. Yeah, we can have that. So these are some of the what? Of the HTML head elements together. For example, you can start the first one. You can start with this one, describing what you call the, the, the title. Right together. For example, let me just open. Uh, mm -hmm. Let me just, maybe you can open a simple, uh, let me just see a simple script of a website i show you where it appears let me just share one but let me just open one i illustrate where it's supposed to appear just to you let me just share one let me just open one Um, let me just open one. I illustrate. Okay. Yeah, let me just open a simple. Open now. Yeah. 
Let me share the screen. I hope you're able to see the new screen. Is it true? Yeah, maybe you can open. Yeah. Let me see. You can have. Uh, let me see. Let us open a. Let me see this one. Yeah, like you now we're having a, 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 sort of a sample of a system here. Are you able to see this part here? Can you see where I'm pointing here? The transline bath dissolution system. Can you see this part here? Yes, yes. This is where the data is supposed to appear. Can you see this part here on the topmost? Are you able to see what I'm. Can you see the yes, mouse, yes, mouse cursor? Okay. Are you able to see it? Yes. Yeah, this is where the data is supposed to appear. Understood? The data is supposed yes. to appear here. Then this part here, this is what you call the body. Are you together? We have this this part here, this is the head. Are you together? The header. Are you together? In the head, we have the rings. You have all the, the rings. Then this part here, whereby we are having a such a destination, this part is what? The web page content. Are you together? Or the body. Understood? The body. Then this part here is where we are having the footer. Are you together? We are having all the food. The foot understood. But in our case now, we are supposed to discuss you know, the head elements here. And we have the first one, we have what the term, the title. You must be knowing where it's supposed to appear. It's supposed to appear. Let us proceed. Sir. Yes. Oh, sorry for that. Uh, some of my okay, Ibrahim, you might know him. Yes. And as the he can't he can't access the class oh. due to the link. Yeah, hold on. Let me, let me see, let me see, he's not, yeah. Just, just do this, just inform him. Once he logs mm -hmm. into the ZDS, yes. yeah, there is a link at the, on, at the bottom, right together, and there's the ID to use that ID and the password, just inform him that, right together. Okay. Yeah, yeah. in the ZDS, there's a link uh, posted. Yeah, he can use the credentials. Just inform him, let me just post first. Or have you informed him? Yes, yes, I have. Yeah, I mean, it's maybe now for the for the head element. Let me just open a text editor. We use a text editor together. We can we can have a text editor. Let me just open my notepad first. Have some practicals on that notepad. Let me just open one. Are you able to see this? Are you able, able, able to see that? Yes. Yeah, let me just save it on the desktop. Let me just give it a maybe test.html. Oh, we have that. Let me have the edX.html. Yeah, then you can open and you know here we have the HTML. It does have that. Then you have to close it here. Okay, so you have to close it. Then here we have the head element. If we have the head element, here we have the head. You have to close it here. Now I want to illustrate now the first head element here. We have for the tar, the title together. So the title is supposed to yeah. come here. The title is here. So we have the title. So the title, for example, you can have maybe, maybe, or we can have uh, maybe, let, let, we can have which information, maybe, we can have a school management system together. Then once you, have, well, then you have to close the title. Then you have to close the title. You have to close it. Then every time, once you are after the head now, this is where the body comes in. Right together, this is where the body comes in. Yeah, but our main focus here is not the title. Yeah, the title. Then every time you have to close your body. So this is where we can have maybe the content of the document right together. The content yeah. of the document. Yeah, so maybe you can run this. Uh, let, let us run this program. You see the effect of the title. Let's run it. 
let me just let me let me just open it let me just open that Now, I hope, can you see now the effect is here? I think that, can you see maybe having the title is here? Are you able to see it now? The school management yes. system is here. There, this is a body. I think that. So that is the effect of the whole yes. code there. Uh, Ibrahim, good morning. Yeah, morning, sir. Hey, Leo Melala Kulala. As Jalala, Nilikwa ni me tafuta airtime strategy for Duka. Yes? I was looking for airtime, but see, oh, yeah, but it's okay. Yeah, it is okay. Now, what we are discussing today, we are discussing a topic for the, we are discussing this topic, the static website together, the static what website yes. together in HTML. Yes. And uh, we said, because it's in web two, most of the content we covered in web one together. So that yes. is what we are discussing. Yeah. So currently we are discussing the head element. I think that because I believe this one you have covered together, the head element. Yes. Yeah. And we are through the head element, the first one. Then we can discuss now the second head element that is what you call the base element that together can have the yes. base element. Let me see. Yeah, we can have what the base element. And now let me just flip it for you here. Ah. Yes. I have a question about the scripts. The scripts. Yeah. yeah, you can ask head element. Yes. I wanted to ask, you said it was for Java, yes? Yeah, what happens with the we will come to the script together? For okay, example, okay. the script now is used in JavaScript. For example, maybe you have incorporated a calendar in your home in, in your site. You have mm -hmm. the script because of the Java. It is able to echo back now. For example, you can have the script is equals to text together. We can have that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, because you now, for example, there's no you can be having a calendar unless you have what the JavaScript. Because you have that script. Okay. Script, yeah. That is okay. Then the second is what you call we can have what the base element right, together. You can have the base element. And now the work of the base. Let me just type it here. We can have this together. This what the tag for the word for this for the base element. It is able to specify a default address or a default target for linking or the links in a word in a in a page together. So once you have the base yes. element, it is able to link all the what all the page or the pages into what into a single ring. For example, you can have this. It is like for this one, it is like the normal ring, the RF. Together, we can have the base. This is the ring. You can have that. Then every time you remember, you have to use the double quotes. Then you can have a certain ring here. For example, you can have www. Maybe dot. Uh, maybe let, let me just use dot vtech. Dot ac. Dot ke. Right, together. Yes. And this is that. Now we are having a base element now. This is the default word. This is the default address. I think that on a default target whereby all the rings on a web page are directed to. Understood? Yes. Have you understood, but in the uh, okay, but... Yes. Yeah, that is okay. That is the second word element in the word in the head section. Then still there is what you call the link. I think that we have what the link. Then you can have this now. We have the link. We have what? We have the ring, we have the ring. Right together. This is the tag for the yes. what? For the for the link. And let me ask you, what is the purpose of the link tag? What is the purpose? Um maybe to include a link whereby people in the system to like to include that link in your system. Yeah, yes, yes. What about Ogeba? Okay, but what about you? Uh, it uh, it defines the relationship between the current document. Yes, and what else? Yeah, we ha yes, we have the current document. What else? And Good. also an external source. Yeah, that is correct. Together, that is able to define the relationship between what the current document and what an external source. So together, that, that that is correct. Yeah, that is correct. So you can have the uh, maybe in the head section you have to define it. We have that. We can be having that. We can be having a style. We 
like having the style sheet. Then you can here you can have the type. Remember, we can have is either for, for the for the link now we can be using either text or what or a CSS or together. So you can have type is equals to and be having is either text or a what or like a skating what set the sheet. Then we have the now we have this. Now here we can have we can have what there you are added together the uniform is also okay. Okay, there you go. They can have that, and it's able to see that. Yes, are you able to see that. Yes. Yeah, that is what you call a link. Right together, and remember this is when you're using in the what in the headset, it's set right together because you have seen it is able to define the relationship between what the current document and what an external doc document right together. Because now, for example, yes. once you click this link now, we are taken to this page. We're taken to this URL. Is it true? But remember, yes. in the body, you can be using a different link. For example, you can have this in the body. Let us have this. Can you see the difference? We're having RF. We are having a, an A here. Are you going to see that? For example, you can have this. You can have still the same same information. Go to ZTEC. Or let me let me not use that domain. Let me use uh, maybe registration. Register.php. I think that. Then here, have you seen a difference? Have you seen a difference? What is happening? Have you seen the difference now? Still, we are yes. the link, both are link. But now, when you are defining one in the head section, we use this. We use this what this approach. But now, for the whole for the board, we use what Alice. Let me let, let us learn the program. We see. Let us see. Yeah, let me share the screen. Yeah, because the information on the board is supposed to be displayed. Yeah, are you able to see this information? Yes. yes. Yeah. Now we're having what? We're having a link in the what? In the in the board together. Once we click this link now, you're supposed to be taken to that page called what? The register.ph. But now that, that page is not available. So we'll have an error. And you see, it is not what available. But together. Yes. Yes. There's a, let me see, there's someone who have joined. Yeah, who is BM? Because I have to know because of the register. Can you, can you use your credentials? Who is BM? Boniface. No, no, no. <laughs> Remember, that is my name. <laughs> oh, it is Matthew. Okay, but that is my name. How can I be joining twice? <laughs> but it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, let us get back now. Now, I think we have discussed what you call. We were discussing, let, let me just get here. We were discussing the link tag in the what in the head section. Still, you can have the style. I think you can have what the style, the style. For example, maybe, maybe you want to define uh, the color of your page. I think that in case you want to define the color of your page, you can use what the CSS. Remember, there is a way you can be using an internal or what you call the incline or what external CSS. I think that. But uh, yes. I prefer. Sometimes I prefer using the external because the external you can have a separate file. For example, maybe tired of CSS, is it true? Because now once you have the incline, now you realize that you have all the information in the same same page, it becomes cumbersome. So deal. Yes. So when you're having a an the style, still the head section. Yeah, we are in the head section, we can have this. And you know the style tag. I think that. Yes. Yeah. You can have this, you can have style. Oh, okay, but I was able to see your system. I think that I, I was supposed to respond. I think I, I forgot to respond, but I was. I saw there is a good progress. I think that. Yes. Yeah, that is what called the start word. The start Yeah. So, for yes. example, we can have. Maybe we can define the style. Maybe we can have this. Maybe we can have a style type. Is it because we're going to be having both a text or a word? Or a CSS? The CSS is the cascading word. Set the sheet. For example, we can define it as, and remember you have to close the style. Let me just close it first before I forget. Yeah, we can, we can, we can, we can close that. Then here you can have uh, maybe the body, you can have maybe, I want to define the body. Then I have to open what? The curry, the curry bracket. Just use my curry bracket. Then let me just define the body.
Matthew, good morning. Matthew, are you with us? Is green. Yes, yes. But that is okay. Mm -hmm, yeah. That is okay. No, so I'm defining the body together. Remember, this is our body. Can you see the body is here? Right together. So I've defined that our body is supposed to be what? Kara, kara green. Kara green. Then still, for example, I can define a paragraph here. So P means what for the, for the paragraph? Let me just define it. And what happens with this one? Every time, right together, what happens? You have to start with a, what, with a full colon. Then you have what? A semicolon? A semicolon. For example, in case I'm defining uh, the style, right together, in case I'm defining what? The style, I'll have to use what? To proceed using what? A semicolon? A semicolon. But in case you are using just one entity, always start with a, what? With a full colon, then semicolon. Then, for example, in case I want to define my paragraph, for example, maybe column. Let me just use what? Maybe color blue. That is for the what? For the paragraph. What will happen? Then here, I'll have to create a paragraph here. Let me just create a paragraph. Let me just create a paragraph here. It means what? A paragraph. And maybe, maybe welcome to web. Yeah, yes, we have that together. So you have realized that we have defined all the information concerning the style in the what in the head in the head section right? together. We have defined the body is here that is supposed to be what color green. Then every paragraph here, the paragraph is supposed to be what color color blue. Right? Together. So let us see. Let us open. Are you able to see that information? With can you see that information? Yes. yes. You have realized that uh, we are using uh, the body color green, but not the paragraph is wood color, color blue. Understood? Yes. That is not magic. You have to work. <laughs> I together, you see some of you can maybe be saying Molim is a magician. No, you have to work. I together, you have to know these tags. You have to know what? You have to know these tags. Uh, because I believe some of you may be saying Molim is performing magic here with the codes. No, you have to learn it together. And I have said, but in case now, for example, in case you're coming up with a dynamic website, just have what an external CSS understood. But in case you're coming up with like a simple system, I think, or in case you want to just, in case you just want to define just a small information in that page, you can use that understood. Yes. Yeah. Then, for example, in case you're having uh, some JavaScript, I think, in case you're having what some JavaScript, you have defined. But for this one, we have defined the script. Right together. Yes. Okay. So in case you're having a character here together, you can define some what. Maybe for example, you can have a script type. Maybe here you can have the script type. Then here it is that you maybe, for example, you can define the elements of the whole of the JavaScript. For example, you can have maybe document to write. Have you ever seen that document to write? Have you ever seen it? Yes. Yeah, maybe now you can define them here together. You can define them here together. Uh, so this, yes. for example, still in case you're having a, in case you're having a, for example, in case you want your system to output the calendar or the, even the time, together the timing, right? together you can use what the script. Understood? Yes. Yeah, actually, I'm through with this objective. Yeah, we had some objectives here. Let me just see the screen. So we were discussing this objective here, the head element. And I'm through with that objective. Any question on that? Yeah, because we had four objectives for this topic. I'm through with this objective. We discussed the first one, the second, that, then we're in the fourth objective. Any question at that point? I can ask some questions. Oh, maybe I could have uh, let, let me just define the me, yes. Can you go back to the yeah there? Now you, you see in our previous uh web one, yes. You when you wanted to create the paragraph like line twenty four. Yeah, line twenty four. Yes. Then you yeah. say welcome to web to develop web development too. Yeah. We used to define the color inside that line inside there. 
you can define it still here, but what we were discussing, we were, we were, we were discussing the head element whereby you're supposed to define everything within the head. For example, this file, you can define it here inside. Is it true? You can define it even here. You can define it here. I think you can put it here together. But now, okay. in case you're requested to define the head section, you have defined you have to define it here. Understood? Okay, sir. Yeah. The same same way, for example, we can define the the background color here. You can have it here. The body BG color is here. We can have it here. For example, you can have it equals to color, color green. You can have that. So you can have this one. But now what we are doing, we are defining everything in the what in the head set, in the head section. Understood. I hope it is clear. Yes. Yeah, it is okay. Any other question? We can go to the next objective. Yeah, but before I go to the HTML forms, there's something you're supposed to know still in the static website. For example, you're supposed to know what is the URL, the uniform resource locator. Let me ask you, Matthew, Matthew, Matthew. Is Matthew here? It's Matthew. Matthew, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. So I'm asking, what is the URL before you go to the form? What is the URL, the uniform resource locator? What, what is it? What is the URL, yes? It's what translates the, the website address. Yeah, the website address. Are together, that is okay. So that is good. Yeah, we just get back here. Yeah. We can discuss the. Uh, before I go to the forms, because uh, we have covered the forms, is it? So you have covered the HTML forms. So we have yes. what you call. Let me just explain something here. Actually, programming is very, very simple. Programming is like one plus one, very, very simple. Yeah, you see, for you to be a good programmer, you have to, you have to have passion. You have to have what? Passion, right? Together. You have to work. Understood? Yes. Let me ask you. Let me, let me start. Let me ask. Let me start from uh, Ibrahim. Ibrahim. Yes. Which is your career objective or your career goal to be a programmer? Which one is it? Programming, it's a... Uh... It's like a hobby, but uh, my field of uh, concern is with networking. And networking, that is good. What about uh, Bati? Yeah, what about Bati? Honestly, I'm still weighing my options. <laughs> yes? You are still, still evaluating. You are still yeah. weighing. Yeah, that is okay. What about uh, Matthew? In respect to programming, mm, I think networking might work. And you see, for Mother, he's thinking networking, he's not sure. <laughs> yeah, what about this? What about Clarin? What about Jerry? Good morning. Yeah, yeah that is okay. Yeah, you see, yeah. You have, you, yes, you can ask a question. But what uh, majorly uh, the challenge I do face yeah. is that uh, at times when I look at uh, networking, yeah, I see most of it. Uh, part of it just goes back to programming. That that is a good that that is correct because for example, in case you want to access the the switch remotely, add together you can use a software called the Putty software. Is it true? And you have to use the console. Add together. Yes. Yeah, that is correct. Yeah, because for example, in the switch, in the switch, you must have several modes. In case you want to move from one mode to the next mode, you have to use what a three program. Is it true? A certain code. That is correct. Yes. Yeah. For example, in case you're using the micro tick, you have to program. Yeah, that is good. That is that, that is true from Ibrahim. Any other question, or clarification, or comment? Yeah, that is okay. So there is what you call the uniform resource locator. For example, you can have an address here. And for example, you can have we can, we can we can have an address. For example, we can have this. Maybe maybe.
So this is what this is just an, an address together. For example, in case you want to access the Safaricom website, you can use what this URL together www.safaricom.co.ke. This is what you call the URL. Together, in the URL, we must be having what the file name. Together, we must be having the file, the file name. So the file name now it is able to define the name of the doc of the document. Still, in the URL, there is what you call the domain. You must be having what the domain, the domain. For example, like this one. This is what the entire domain that together. This is the entire domain, the, do, the entire domain. In the domain, we must be having, for example, like here, the KE here represents what the country. Understood? Understood? The yes. KE represents what ca country. This one is what represents what commercial. CO represents what comma commercial. For example, in case we have this, let me just show you the difference. Now look at this section here. Here we are having dot ac dot ke. It means what academic. Understood? It means what Acad academic dot co dot ke dot co means what comma commercial. Then this part here, the first part here, the world wide web, it represent what the domain host. It represent the domain host. Have you understood? Yes. Of course, you must be knowing. Yeah, I'm saying there's a difference here. For example, here we are having dot co dot ke. K means what the country, Kenya. Then here, C O means what comma commercial. Then here, the reason we are having A C it means that uh, this institution is what academic. Understood? Yes. yes. Then you have said the word word web is able to represent what the host study together or the domain host. Yeah. Then still in the URL, you always come across this one. I have to know this. What is the difference between these two? The hypertext transfer protocol secured, and we have the hypertext transfer protocol. What is the difference between, between these two? What is the difference between these two? Um. Now, in case you come up with that, in case you realize that, that, that the website it is not secure, most of the times it is just using the what the HTTP. I think that it is not what secure, secure. So any information that you that you post on that website, it can be accessed. It can be accessed by what by a third party. But in case you realize that a, a website is using the HTTPS, that website it is what secure. Most of the times, we don't have to carry a padlock. Have you ever seen the green padlock? Have you ever seen it? Yes. It means that a, that website is what is secure, secure. All the information exchanged are encrypted. They are encrypted. Yeah, that is okay. That is okay concerning or that is enough concerning what the URL, the URL. Yeah. Then you can have the HTML forms. The last objective here, the last objective is what you call the HTML forms. And this one is just a repetition because you have covered. I will just highlight. So we have the full objective, the HTML forms. I believe now for this one you have covered in the, in the previous topic we covered when we were covering the PHP. Forms. Is that true? Yes. Yeah, so let me ask you, what is a form? What is a form according to you? What is a form? <laughs> what is a form? Now, actually, a form now is just a field that you guys that can be used to do what to select what different types of user input. For example, you can have a, a text box, you can have a text box. A checkbox, you can have uh, a drop down button together. You can have a bit button, you can have a reset button, you can have what a radio bar, a radio bar right, together. Maybe you can just create us. For example, in a form, we must be having what the input a elements right, together. Let me just show you something. Let me just create one, just a sample. Let me just create a sample. Yeah. Are you able to see? Yes. This is a sample form. Can you prepare for your cartoon next week? I hope I had informed you. So here we can create a form. Yes? Yeah, next week on Friday, you'll have your cartoon. Yeah, next week. Then you have to close the form. Now, what happens in the form now, for example, when you're using the PHP, for example, when you're using the PHP, 
here we always have a form method is equals to post is it true yeah when we are submitting information to the database then you can have action yeah, for now in for now in and include what the action then here for example in the form now we can embed what for example you can have the table we can have you can you can you can use the tables in the forms that you get like where we have the tables you can have the what the table date the table data but now i'm going to the, to the point i'll have the first name is here have a first name you can have first name Now there's something I want to explain here. Name is equals to F name. Now, this, this is an input file. This is what this is an input file. Now, look at this point here. We are having name is equals to what? Name is equals to F name. So, what will happen even in the database table? You have to ensure that you have used what the term F name and not first name. You have used what F name together. Understood? Yes. Yes. In all your codes, you have to ensure you have used what F name. For example, in the case in the database table, use F name having capital F, having this. And here, you used what? More like. Uh, if you throw a keys, you always have what? A syntax sort F, eh? and you have to be very, very careful. Yes. Let me have, then you can have, uh, maybe you can have the last name. You can have the L name. You can have the last name. Then you can have uh, that for password. Now remember the password. The password here we are having the last name here. And the people who have joined Beatrice and Francisca, we are discussing concerning what the static website. Are together for the password. Then here, input is equal to what is equal to password. Understood? And because we have to ensure that once you key in the password, it should not be visible. So here then you can have you can have the pass yeah we can have that still we can have we can have even the, the buttons that together for example we can have a radio button that together we can have a radio button so it has learned we see the effect Yeah, we have we are having this information. What is this information? We're having the first name, we're having the last name. And you realize, for example, because you put the first name to be Terry, you can have uh, Terry Mwangi, then the password. I together, you can see now the password is indivisible together. But in case you had used input is equals to text, that information could be what could be visible as you key in. Understood? Yes. Yeah. So still, I believe you can you can you if you can add a ready button. You can add a checkbox. Is it true? Can I add one? Yes. In the session, we close in ten minutes. Yeah. So you have to be very, very fast. We rejoin. Yeah, yeah. Correct. You can rejoin. Yeah. So you can have, uh, for example, let me have a checkbox here. Maybe, for example, I want to select unit.
maybe it's equals to let me just have web two let me here let me just have web two here to let just copy that I want to incorporate several. Then here you can have uh, maybe a drop down. Still the course. Actually, programming is very, very simple. Very, very simple. Programming is one plus one. You can have maybe. Yeah, that is okay. So let us run the program. We see the effect. Are you able to see the information here? Can you see? We're having a checkbox. Get together. Yeah. yeah. Are you able to see that information? Yes. Okay, where yes. are the rest? Beatrice and uh, Francisca. Good morning. Morning. Yeah, we are discussing the static. There's a topic we are discussing the static what website together or the advanced to HTML. Yeah. So that is the whole HTML form. Because I've seen for this one you had covered before. And I'm through. So together, I am through. We have discussed what the checkbox. With the checkbox, you yeah. have the input box so together. You can have even the ready button. So you can have what the submit bar, but together that is used to do what? To send information into the what into the into the server. For example, let me maybe I can add the uh, For example, let me just add that. For example, let, 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 let us have a button here. Let us have a button. Yeah, maybe we can have a button. Let me just have a button here. If type is equal to submit or a button type I think we can have a button Let me see button, button name. So that is how you do what you add a bar, you add a button and add together. You can have a button and that can be used to do what? You submit the information, the information. Even sometimes, even if we have an input type, but together, you can have input. The input is supposed to be button and name. If we have the button, we can have the button what? The button, yeah, the button name together. So now, what will happen now? The PHP code for the post now, together by that information where you are posting, you'll always have that section for the whole for the subway submitted together. Because now, 
let me just share code here, like this one. Let me just show you. Just the straight one here. Just show you, let me just illustrate. Are you able to see what is happening now? We are using submit. Can you see submit is here? Are together? In the button, yes. there was what? The word what? There was the tag submit. In the case you use in the button, you use the, the word go. Then here you use the word submit now. There is no way that information will be submitted to the whole to the database. That information is supposed to be what? It's supposed to be common. Understood? Understood? Yes. Yes. And actually, I'm through that topic. Yes. I am through that topic. Yeah. Maybe you can ask some questions. You can ask some questions now. Back to the code. Yeah, let me just get back to the code. For the, it is supposed to be index, right together. Let me just share the screen. Yeah. Now, line number 44. Yeah, 44. Yeah, button name is equal is equal to submit. Name is equal to submit. Yeah, value is equal to that submit. value be? Actually, value, you can value for value. For oh, pardon, pardon. For oh, pardon, pardon, pardon. Line number 44. Yeah, for the value, you can have said, register, all that information together. It has no impact. What will okay. happen, the purpose of this value, this is what the user will see. You will see the word said, register. And that's information, yeah. Okay. Yeah, any other question? Then concerning the dynamic website, together maybe we can just give an overview concerning what the dynamic, the dynamic website. Because now we see it, for the static website now, it is the work of the user to what? To approve that information. And you see it, that information has to remain the same. Together, it is what? It is, it is static. It will not shape, not change. But now, when it comes to the dynamic website now, that information is kept now in the web browser, in the web server. And the administrator can update that information in it, and it remains understood. That is the word before the dynamic word to where web page. And that is supposed to be one word, our next topic. Yeah, but it's just like op almost the opposite of what the static word website. And maybe you can ask some questions now because I'm through. Yeah, concerning the dynamic website together or the, the DHTML, you can just read concerning that. You can just read concerning the DHTML, yeah, what it contains. Yeah, maybe maybe you can rejoin for some question. You can rejoin you some questions concerning programming. So how was the class today? How was it today? How was it? It was refreshing, personally. Yes. It was refreshing. Yeah, that is that is good. What about uh, the people who came out? What about uh, Ibrahim? How was it? And the class was okay because at least most of you are cooperative. But together, at least now it was what it was interactive. Yeah, because a good class is where by now the student and the, the student and the teacher they are what they are cooperating, they are cooperating together. Yeah, because now we are able to grow together both academic academically. Yeah, maybe you can join for some questions.